Hello again, everybody. I uh, kind of want to go over some uh, military things. Uh, so, people have been asking how vassals work. Uh, uh, we'll take. Um, let's see what village do I have troops in. All right, do this one. You see, I've got like uh, six vassals here, and. Uh, my max army, because uh, I've maxed out the research, is 500. Max army size 500, but I can only have 171 troops here because um, I have uh, all these wagons and uh, scouts, and monks also take up uh, army space. So, unfortunately, I can only attack with 170 troops from this village. Um, and that's not very many. And people keep wondering, how can you get to 500? Well, you can do that with your vassals. So I have, uh, if you come, actually you can just use this screen here to show uh, this one right here. Click to manage your vassals, and I can see that I have uh, Pegbert. And when I come to the screen, it shows me how many troops I have in there. 252 archers, 169 pikes, 70 catapults. And then from here, I can, whatever troops I have that are, not in uh, that are in the barracks that are not in the castle I can send to my vassal oh, I got just the one archer so I'll send the archer now you'll see uh, this archer now uh, or this army is moving over here to peg pegward vineyards and when I click on her village I have to be in the right village I have to be in my village that's vassal to hers I can't say go to go to my other village here and click it because it doesn't show that it's vassal to this village. Um, anyway, once I click on my village, I can uh, press this green button, which takes me back to the manage the troops. But one thing is, once you send troops to your vassal, you can't get them back. So use them or lose them. Um, and what I can do is press this attack from here button and now I can select a target like I could attack this uh, pig's castle. I'll just click on the castle and press the X and there we go. I just put my troops out here and I can go kill it. And I probably be an easy kill. Uh, or I can use it to attack a player. So I press the X and zoom out, come over here, find navy and uh, wow, a lot of archers, and I could smash this side right here with these catapults and everything. Um, and you may notice that if I come back over here and click there, it'll take me to where the village is. Uh, you may notice that my maximum amount of troops is 500. So even though I can only put 170 troops in my village, I can put 500 here at my vassal. So I can attack with 500 troops. Um, and that's a pretty good thing. It's uh, very powerful. Um, now she's got some troops in, in her castle. And so when I start play, laying these out, uh, oh, to see that it stopped, and you see this castle sign it tells me that she's got 42 archers in her castle. Now I can still take them out by pressing it a second time and laying them down. Uh, but I'm not actually going to follow through with that. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the power of having a vassal. Uh, you have so much more firepower. Uh, one thing I want us to start doing is I want to institute a uh, a tax, a troop tax, uh, because like for example, if you come over here to the province of North Berwick, um, unfortunately, I only get thirteen hundred gold per day, thirteen fifty, and the way that's calculated is that there's three uh, counties in the province, each county at max tax rate gives 450 gold so 3 times 450 is 1350 now I've got parishes that make uh, you know 10 times that much 
So with 1,350 gold per day, I can't even afford to uh, buy troops. I mean, I can, you know, three. I've only got 3,000 gold. I better uh, better go ahead and spend it. Uh, the cool thing about these uh, county armies is that you can get uh, uh, much bigger armies. You can go up to like uh, I don't know 650 or something with the province, I think, or uh, maybe it's 650 with the county and 850 with the province. I haven't uh, actually paid attention to how high I can get yet, but uh, obviously I don't make enough gold to fill out the army every day, so um, I need everybody's help to fill the army there. So we're going to be doing attacks, and I'm going to show how it's done. Um, I'll come over to my closest village and make sure I got troops in here. Uh, yeah, I got two catapults. So. When I when I have my uh, when I click on uh, the capital, I can press this green button here that says "Send Troops," and uh, you'll see that uh, I can start selecting troops to send. I've only got the two catapults available, uh, and pay attention to this. It says "Current Barrack Space 55." Um, that means I can send 55 troops there without maxing it out. If I send um, 70 troops. Uh, warning once the barracks is full full any other troops sent will be lost so if I were to send 70 troops 15 of them would be lost so I want to be careful to not go over that but what I'd like to start seeing everybody do who's in uh, the province of the Lothians is to send a couple archers and a couple of pikes and maybe a catapult if you have one available every day just uh, just enough to you know fill the place up. Um, for ex another place I'm going uh, to be doing this uh, um, this village uh, there's no catapult guild here so I want to donate my catapults uh, so let's go ahead and hire some. I guess I didn't hire any. No, I thought I did. We'll go ahead and hire 10 here. And I can, even though it's in a different parish, I can still send them there. Again, I don't want to go over the barrack space of 45. But there they are on their way. And if you look at this army, uh, I can see that there's room for 45 more troops. Uh, I can go ahead and supply. I already sent those uh, 10 catapults, so to send 35 more archers. And that will fill up my uh, parish and then I can go kill this uh, pig's castle because um, I'm out of gold here. Zero gold. So I can't purchase troops, I have to send them. And also this parish doesn't have, uh, it can't hire catapults, so I have to donate them if I want to, to use catapults there. Um, so that's the basics of how to donate troops to your parish parishes and your parish capitals. Um, so I'll be sending out orders uh, soon to DRK to uh, fill up our province provinces here at North Berwick and uh, later on also Edinburgh, the, the capital itself, after I become king there. So um, that way we can uh, use the armies to powerful effect. Um, I think that's good for now. Uh, I can always make another video for other things if I forget anything. Hopper, is there anything I should, do you think I should suggest that I forgot? No, it sounded pretty reasonable. So. Sounded like it, uh, I wrote that out twice today. Yeah, how to do that? <laughs> yeah, talking to people. <laughs> 